Hi, I'm Brian Rogers, and I am from Denver, Colorado, by way of Kansas City, Missouri, home of barbecue and the Kansas City Chiefs. What am I most grateful for right now? Oh my gosh, there's so many things I'm grateful for. Um, I'm grateful for my health, I'm grateful for my family, um, and most of all, I'm grateful for having found plant-based barbecue. Uh, so I've been plant-based about going on about four years now. Um, prior to going plant-based, I tried multiple diets. I've been fighting childhood obesity pretty much my whole life um, since I was about 10 years old. And prior to going plant-based, I was about, th about 350 pounds. Um, I was diagnosed with six life-threatening diseases, including liver disease. And I was always tired, I had sleep apnea, and I just, um, I just didn't have energy all the time. So prior to going plant-based, was pretty awful, I was pretty sick. How did I find plant-based in the vegan lifestyle? Well, I was desperate for one thing. I had tried so many other diets and so many other ways, and being a barbecue person, um, I pretty much eaten barbecue my whole life. Um, so I decided for whatever reason that I was going to take, you know, take maybe a little bit of a shortcut and maybe get gastric bypass surgery. So I went to the appointment, went to the gastric bypass surgeon, and he told me all the different things that was going to happen to me, all the different side effects. I could die. Uh, he told me all these things, but then he said to me, he said, you know, the other thing that might happen is you might not enjoy barbecue anymore. And I was like, no way, I'm not doing that. I'm not giving up barbecue. So I went on a mission uh, to, to, to be able to still eat plant-based barbecue, but in a healthy way. And I went completely plant-based the next day. Um, my primary physician, I hadn't really read any books. I didn't really know that much about veganism, vegan, plant-based, or any of that stuff. Um, living in Colorado, I've started to learn. Uh, there's, there's a lot of vegans, a lot of plant-based uh, people here in Colorado, we have a great community, but I didn't really know that much about it at the time. And my primary physician in a major healthcare system here actually was the one who introduced me to plant-based eating. So that's how I got into it. Oh my goodness. Um, <clears throat> losing the kind of weight I did, 150 pounds, and I'd kept it off for close to four years. But the most challenging part of it wasn't a physical part of it. It was the mental aspect of... Um, every day just having to, to, to grind and grind and grind and not give up and uh, the most the most challenging part of it was what i call panic attacks it's like a panic attack but if you're on a plant-based diet i kind of coined the term panic attack and it's just where you feel like you want to give up um, it starts to mentally mess with you like hey you want to eat that pizza or hey you want to eat those tacos and just getting over the hump of that was probably the most challenging part. I mean, I felt like I wanted to die for about the first 30 days. And I actually lost 120 of my 150 pounds in the first six months. So the first 30 days were extremely tough. The first six months were tough, but it was it was a piece of cake after that, so to speak, plant-based cake. I would just say, give it a try. Don't, don't, um, don't have any preconceived notions about what what it means to, to be vegan or what it means to be plant-based, whether it's for health reasons, social reasons, whatever it is, everybody comes to, to plant-based and, and, and vegans, veganism for different reasons. Um, but I would say don't have preconceived notions, particularly if, if it's for health reasons like it was for me to start with, um, although there's so many other benefits now of this lifestyle. But don't have any preconceived notions about what it might be. Don't take too seriously any I mean, there's a lot of great books, a lot of great authors, a lot of great doctors out there, but don't take anything too seriously before you get started. You have to really do it on your own. Um, jump into it, use common sense. Um, that's the most important thing is use common sense when it comes to this. And uh, don't have any preconceived notions about what it might, what this lifestyle might entail. So um, the day I went plant-based, my wife also went plant-based uh, with me. My son is vegetarian as well, so I had a lot of su a big support system uh, when I decided to do this. As I said, I was very sick. Um, what changed in me was, you know, I've tried everything else. I'm 44 years old. I'm older than that now. I'm 44 years old. Uh, I weigh 350 pounds. 
um, I can't even walk to the end of the block without breathing hard and feeling like, like my lungs are collapsing. I was completely out of shape, um, depressed, a lot of other issues that I have. What changed is, you know what, I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm going to, um, I'm still gonna eat barbecue. It's my love. I mean, I, I put plant-based barbecue on the map. That motivated me to keep going. But what changed was really the mental part of it. Like, I'm gonna try this for 30 days and I'm not gonna let anybody, anyone, any book, any online forum or anybody tell me different. And that's really what the change was because I was always skeptical before. I'd always try to read a, a hundred books on what I was going, any diet I was gonna try or any lifestyle I was gonna try. And there's so many conflicting um, information out there that I said, you know what? I'm, my, I, my change was boom. I'm not gonna listen to anything. I'm just gonna have blinders on and I'm gonna try this for 30 days and see what happens. And I had great success.